Hi, my name is Bria Rogers, and the career that I chose to do for my profile number two is a 4-H youth development educator. Um, this is an excellent opportunity for anybody who has a master's degree. The one that I found the job is based out of the University of Wisconsin, um, and that's the extension office there. Um, for the working environment for this career, um, it is a large organization that demands a lot of travel, so you would be traveling at odd times during the month um, in order to monitor other programs and just check in with what's going on. Um, hours are mostly nighttime hours, yet you would be able to have a flexible schedule if you have children. You can work around that schedule and you can do a lot of your work from home, which makes it a great job for a stay-at-home mom. Um, you would work independently to identify and address, address um, local issues and needs for the community and we'll work with the program managers to help address those needs. <clears throat> Typical stressors in this job, um, you'll have to travel long distances at times to meet with organizations and that can be a stressor, just all the travel and perhaps being away from your family would be a stressor. Also, you're in charge of monitoring a lot of programs, and that could become stressful if they're not doing what they need to be doing. You'd be the one to follow up with that. Benefits of this job include retirement, vacation, sick leave, health insurance, and other insurances. And the common job tasks, you would design, deliver, and teach culturally relevant um, community-based educational programs, so you'd actually go out and and you would do all your marketing, you would do all of your designing of the program, and you would go out and teach, which is great. You would conduct ongoing assessments of the community educational needs. You would create a plan of work that integrates research and community needs. You would conduct and report on program evaluations to improve program effectiveness. You'd regularly prepare educational and promotional materials using appropriate technology. You would identify, recruit, and develop volunteer leadership um, necessary to carry out the position, so you're in charge of all the hiring. Um, you would write and publish and share articles um, and also make program designs, which is great, and provide guidance and counsel to the 4-H Community Club program. There's a lot of good things going on here with this job. Um, the educational requirements for this program, you would need to have a master's degree with coursework in ed educational principles, curriculum development, program evaluation, um, and or cognitive social development of youth and adults. Um, and just some miscellaneous inf information as a 4-H youth development educator. Um, you will be an educational leader in teaching, assessing, and applying research and findings in the social, human, and behavior sciences. Um, what you'll actually do is you'll take a scholarly approach in organizing community resources in support of the inclusive, positive development of the youth, especially in the area of leadership and engagement. So pretty much your job would be taking the resources given by the university and learning how to implement them into the community to be beneficial to all those, especially the youth. So that's the job that I chose. This is actually what I'm going in to get my master's degree for, and I'm excited to see where it takes me. Thanks.